Today I wanted to talk about three different artists with very different skills and very different ways of working but with a very similar topic which is always nice. So my first two artists are Claire Canine and Natasha Mayo who I've spoken about quite a bit with in my blog um, because I get to work with them at first hand and they both work with figurative sculpture. In the past I've also looked at Guacometti's sculptures and I really like his drawings. They are always crude and messy but they present so much figure and so much personality through the face, through the features, through all these little scratchy drawings and they seem to reflect very much in the way I draw and the way that I work, the way that I sketch. It's all really interesting the way he works with the figure and the way he pulls and draws things out and makes people very long and elongated but still with that sort of element of movement and it really gets captured within his work. It's the same with, um, with Natasha's work, she very much captures how the person's sitting, how the body would work, how it would stretch, how it would move and I like that within figurative work when people really capture the way a body sits or the way arms and things position themselves and the way that the muscles and the stretches beneath would work and how you can reflect that in clay because it's such a malleable substance it's so different, it's so adjustable and especially with things like terracotta even though I don't particularly enjoy the way it turns orange when it's fired I really like the way that it works in the hand and the way that it um, it finishes as well. So as well as this, I wanted to talk about the way the bodies are formed. So um, Natasha works with very accurate representations of people. She usually does children. They're quite podgy and sweet and cute, and they actually do look like kids um, and like little children. Um, and of course, to completely juxtapose this, you've got Gokometi's figures and. Claire's figures, which are, Gokometi's figures are very stretched, they're very abstract, elongated, they basically are like stick men, maybe matchsticks, you know, just wandering about, but they have that idea of movement, which is not seen in Claire's work, even though her sculptures are also quite abstractive, they're quite plain, but in a nice sort of simplistic way that you get the right proportions within the body, um, but everything is simplified because of the way she works with such soft clays. I wanted to do figurative work, I know that in the past I've been doing work that isn't figurative at all, I've been working with artifacts and people and I now wanted to create figures that link very closely to the artifacts and people that I've looked at. Um, just things that linked to people's pasts, maybe uh, things that are inherited, plates, cutlery, um, teddies from when they were little, I wanted to take materials that sourced from all of these different places and then put them together um, to make little little busts really or maybe full figures um, like this woman's work and she did wonderful little sets of figures that all sat together on a little bench and they each held something that represented their individual cultures now I wanted to do the same thing but with personalities and when you try and represent that person with a few different people, places, objects, artifacts it gets very difficult to source them and I love this and I really wanted to bring this out in my work and to make this very clear that people are diverse and people are different and they're all made up of different things and different feelings and different places and different textures and surfaces and I wanted to do this by taking a range of textures and surfaces and medias and putting them all together in one set of sculptures um, and I really wanted to make some brilliant little figures maybe about this tool um, I might make some little maquettes, um, practice with some different glazes and things, steal them from other people in the room, you know, really mix it about a bit, maybe put glazes on unfired work and see how they crack and peel and bubble and things. Um, maybe mix some oxides into my terracotta and make it different colours, get some black staining in there, really play about to try and make these little people really, really different, like normal people are inside. And in order to do so, I really had to look at the work of Claire, who worked with so many different textures and modelling processes with such simple figures, but really in-depth, you know, you, that she brings it out of their ears, glazing on their faces, you know, floral patterning, but still having so much depth, you know, it always links to something, whether it's religious or whether it's cultural, it always, you can always see it in them, even though they're really simplistic, and I wanted to take this view, and then the realistic attributes from um, Natasha's work, and the imprinting that she uses when she draws 
children's drawings onto actual children and things and bring all of these things together with the research that I've founded in history and um, and all these little artefacts, these little bits of pottery that I've been picking up and talking about and um, the ideas of wasting away and um, of being imprinted on things and really pull them all together and draw into this little, little tiny sculptures of people. So yeah, that is exhausting. <laughs>